All right, in this video, we're going to look at how you can um, use one preset to have multiple presets, um, depending on whether you're at home or whether you're at work. Um, this is a subscriber request, by the way. So uh, let's go ahead and go into KLWP. And um, what this particular subscriber wanted is um, when they're at work, they want to have a certain layout. And when they're at home, they want to have a certain layout. Um, and I'm going to focus on the icons. So uh, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to, I don't want to be here, I want to go to globals and I'm going to add a global and we're going to do an on off switch. Alright, so on off switch and let's call this home. Alright, and for now we'll just do manuals uh, switches. So we can cut this switch on and off. Um, when home is off, we got to think of zero, and when home is on, we got to think of a one. One is on, zero is off. So uh, let's go back to items, and I'm going to show you how to switch icons. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do an overlap group, and inside of this overlap group, I'm going to call this, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do here as well. I need to switch over to my, so I can use my finger sometimes too. Um, sometimes I'm going to be using the mouse, sometimes I'll just use my actual cell phone. Alright, so in overlap group, I'm going to rename this and I'm going to call it, uh, let's call this home um, icon. Now you can give it a whatever name you want. So home icon, inside of this overlap group, I'm going to add an image. So add image and let's pick that image and I'm going to use some of the stealth icons um, you can buy this off the Play Store alright okay so we're talking about home let's suppose we want a game I'm just gonna add something random I don't even have all these games up here uh, okay I don't even have anger I have a motocross game so I'm gonna click that icon right there and this is for home so um, now touch, remember for this particular, uh, I tell you what, I'll go back to my overlap group and I'll set the touch on the entire overlap group. That way I don't have to, if you add other things inside of the overlap group, you can touch anywhere in this overlap group to make it launch that application. So you go here for touch, you go to single and you want to launch an app. And I have to pick my app. And I think it's some type of motocross or something like that. Mad Skills Motocross. Bam. Okay. Now this, I'm going to show you just a, a quick example here. So we have that, and I'm good with that one. So let's copy and paste this. Copy, paste, and let's call this Work Icon. All right. So we have these two things now for Work Icon. I tell you what, I'm going to take this and I'm going to position it in the center for right now to clearly see that we have two different ones. I'm inside of my work icon and I want to change this image. Let's say when you're at work, you want an image to show up for uh, email or something like that. So let's go to Google. Let's see where we can find an email looking app. Uh, okay, I'm just going to do that one for right now. Bam. Okay. Now remember, um, I copied this uh, overlap group from the home icon, so I need to go in here to touch for this particular overlap group, and I need to do a different app. Um, in this case, I will do, um, you can pick your email app, obviously. I'll tell you what, I'll just do this one. I know that's not going to load up anything in regards to email, because I don't even use this email app. I use type mail. But here's the main idea. So, um, Suppose you have a list of these things. I'm going to go back to the root and let me add another overlap group. And I'm going to call this uh, icon group one. So icon, I'll call it G1 for group one. And I want to cut and paste those two overlap groups into icon G1. All right, bam. Now I think the uh, work icon, let me make sure the position I had of it centered, which is fine. Um, I know I did change one of them while I go. Let me go to the home icon. Where is it positioned, centered? Everything's good. So now these two things are overlapping each other. 
Um, so if I go and position this whole icon group one, if I go to position and I put this in the center of the screen, there are two icons laying on top of each other. Um, but I only want one to show at a certain time. I want the other one to show at another time. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go back to root. Let me add, um, I'm just going to do a button. I'll do that star, no big deal. And now here's what we want to do. We want to let this little button determine which mode we're in. Are we in home mode or are we in work mode? So I'm going to touch and I'm going to apply a formula to this thing. Um, touch and do, 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 do. what am I looking for? Oh, touch. I want to toggle switch. That's all I want to do. Toggle global switch. Home. I don't want to apply a formula. I got to apply my formula to the actual display down here. So um, basically this thing right here is going to trigger home being on or home being off. And I tell you what, just for testing purposes, I will go back to here as well. I'll add some text. And let me position this a little bit beneath. This is just for testing purposes, by the way. All right, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and I'm gonna say uh, if GV home is equal to one, I'm gonna say home mode. I can put a space in there. And if it's not, that means if the home switch is on, I want to see home mode. Whereas if it's off, I want to see work mode. Okay. This is just for testing purposes. So uh, let me check that and save. Now, I'm going to go back to my home screen. So if we see home mode, so that means the switch is on. Now the switch is off. And basically, when I do, when I switch back and forth between home mode and work mode, I want these icons. I want to see, when I'm at home, I want to see my game icon. When I'm at work, I want to see the Gmail icon. So uh, let me go back into KLWP. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to do some layer visibility. So I'm going to go to this icon group one. Uh, home icon. This is the one that we want to show when we're at home. So layer, now notice I'm inside of my overlap group, then I'm gonna go to my home icon, I'm gonna go to layer, and I'm gonna go to visible. So here's where we're gonna apply code. And this is our home icon. So we want to say, if GV home is on, so equals one, um, we want to always see this thing. And if, if this switch is not one, otherwise what we want it to be, never. So either we're gonna always, we're gonna always see this group if the switch is on, we're never gonna see it if the switch is not on. So I'm gonna check that and we should be good there. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do as well. I'm gonna go back in here, I'm gonna copy and paste this or copy it. And I'm going to go into my work. Now, when do we want to see this work overlap group? I'm going to go to layer. I'm going to go apply that same code, but I'm going to change a little bit of it. I want to see this one if the switch is off. Because basically, when the home switch is off, that means we're going to be in work mode. So uh, if GV home is off, I always want to see it. If it's uh, not equal to zero, I never want to see it. And this is because I am now in my work work mode, so to speak, okay? So remember, let's think about what we want to happen here. Um, work mode, I wanna see my email, bam. Now watch what happens now. If I press it and put it in home mode, it hides the email app, which we wanted to see in work mode. Home mode is gonna show my Mad Skills Motocross. So if I tap this, it should only open Mad Skills Motocross. And as you can see, it is loading that up. Whereas, let me go back to my home screen. If I put this in work mode, notice it's changing my icon. So now if I tap this, it should open up the email app. And again, I told you at the beginning or you know, a little while ago, I don't even use this particular email app. So that's how we're toggling back and forth between home mode and work mode. Now, just a little bit of organization. 
And what's nice about this is you can create a whole bunch of different presets. Um, the, the main idea for you to take out of this is that even though I'm just toggling some icons really, uh, you can do this to entire, anything that you have a group, any overlap group or any stack group, you can go to layer and use some type of code. Now you might say, oh, what happened to the code? I didn't apply the layer visibility code to the icon group. I applied the layer visibility group to each individual home icon, uh, work icon. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Let me go back to root. Um, let me copy and paste this, copy, paste. I'm going to call this icon group G2. Let me go inside of that icon group. Um, home. What's something else that we want to see at home? Let me pick a different one. So pick image. Um, let's go stealth. What's something else we might want to do at home? I'm trying to think of other games I have on my phone. Uh, da, 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 da. Do I have... I don't have touch. I think I got, yeah, this ter whatever terrain, terraria, or whatever. Okay, this is at um, a home icon. Remember, we want to change the touch. We want to launch an app. I don't want to launch Mad Skills Motocross with this one. I want to launch that, however you say that particular game. It's kind of like a Minecraft or something like that. That were Bam, there we go. All right. All right, let me go back to icon group. G2. Let me go to my work icon. What do we want to load for this one? This is where I had my email a while ago. So pick image, stealth. What is something else that we might want to launch? How about our settings to get to our settings? So do I have some type of gear? Or maybe I want to launch music. Yeah, there you go. Launch music. Bam. So there's my icon I'm going to use. Come on. Let me try another one. There we go. All right, so go back to my work icon. Maybe I want to listen to my music while I'm at work. That's why I'm doing that. So touch, launch app. We don't want to launch the email when we tap the headphones. We want to launch power amp. That's my particular music app. Where are you at? There we go. All right, so good with that. Now, all these things are hiding over on top of each other. Here's what I wanted to do with these two things. I want to put these icon groups in a stack group to organize them. So let me take these icon group one, icon group two, let me cut, and let's pop these things into a stack group. Now they're stacked, maybe we want to horizontally center these things. And now we got some organization. So let me pop this whole stack group, maybe you want it in the center of your screen or the bottom, or put it wherever you want to put it. But now we have really four different icons going on that only take up two spots. When we're at work, remember, we want either want to see our email app or our uh, we want to listen to music. Whereas when we get home, maybe we want to play some games. See how I'm switching them? Work mode, email and music. Let's tap on music. That should load power amp. As you can see, it does. Whereas um, I've already showed you the email. It's going to load up the email. We see those. Now let's go back and put this thing in home mode to where we can play games. I'm tapping on Mad Skills Motocross. It's loading it up. And now if I go back to home and I tap on this one, it should open up that uh, Terraria, what at Terrain, I don't know. But bam, and it's loading it up right now. I guess it's downloading an update. I never play this, but there we go. So again, the big thing here is this. You can... Uh, create essentially two different presets inside of one preset. Now there we go, it finally loaded up. I just wanted to show you that it is loading up that game and I'm using icons from the Stealth Icon Pack. So home mode, work mode, as you can see it is switching these things up. You can apply this layer of visibility that I've talked about with the code, um, KLWP, um, whatever groups you decide to add inside of your root or wherever. I mean, they don't have to be right inside of your root, but the layer of visibility applying that uh, particular code. You know, either always or never. Now, here's the next question you may have. There's more ways to do this. Back inside of root, when I go to globals, on-off switch is going to only let you technically have two things, home and work. Suppose you want to create three different ones. 
Um, and you could set layer visibility like I showed you. But what you probably would want to do there is you'd want to use a text global. Um, and we can call this mode. Suppose you want a home, a work, and uh, exercise. Suppose, or drive. Home, work, and drive. You want three different views. Um, and the reason why you have to use a text global, um, you would have to cycle between three different things. Are you in home mode? Are you in work mode? Or are you in drive mode? And you can set the layer visibility back here, you know, in these items where I did the layer visibility for always and never. But the touch thing would have to be a little bit different. Now, that would take another 15 or 20 minutes for me to go through all of that. But if you wanted more than two modes, um, such as home, work, and drive, you would need to use a text global variable, or you could use a list. Um, text global, I'm very familiar with that. Check out my videos. I have plenty of videos to guide you in the right direction on getting this text global variable to work right. But for now, since we only wanted two modes, a home mode and a work mode, an on-off switch will work fine. But there you have it. That's how you can create um, multiple presets inside of one thing depending on what mode you are in. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.